Time for my Gemini's. Aha! King of Swords. So Gemini is also Mercury ruled like Virgo is. And, you know, I see these both as having their own kind of superiority in the tarot. Kings are very much the masters of this realm of energy, this realm of life. Likewise, the king is the master of the mental realm. He's the master of ideas, thoughts, words, um, concepts, and beliefs. He's the word, he's the master of his own self-talk. He is the master of expression. You know, the, he has honestly learned how to transform his life through communication, through understanding, and through ideas. So for me, this is basically saying that if the hurt, like if the Gem if Gemini's out there want to take that next developmental step, we need to recognize the role that our mind plays. And if we are suffering mentally, we need to recognize it's because we haven't mastered our minds yet. We haven't learned enough from our minds. We haven't pursued enough in the life of our minds. We haven't analyzed and and tried to holistically piece all the the understanding and information we gathered back as a holistic system and then we haven't started illustrating all that we've learned through action and and through focus that's what the king really leads us towards so for my gemini's out there if you want to be able to develop a sense of self and an understanding and the ability to connect to that realm of you that is going to be aligned long term and guide you towards your own north star you're really going to have to understand the tool that your mind is and understand that you are that first step of integrated mind which means that this is going to be of the utmost challenge for you but you do have all the tools that you need and you under need to understand that like you have this ability to see both sides of things and you have the ability to hold space for the fact that all truths are but half truths and and you can see that more clearly than anybody and this kind of like sitting with these ideas and really asking yourself the implications instead of what you know shadow gemini is most prone to do which is to stay on the surface and not to think about things deeply you have to think about things deeply deeply now. You can't avoid uncomfortable thoughts in favor of you being entertained, which is that flitty flighty, you know, mercurian element that rules Gemini energy. It's like I don't want to I don't want to settle in on one thing. I'm I'm so, you know, I'm there's enough systems firing now that I can keep it moving. I can keep it flowing. But what we notice here is that this king, this the master masculine energy, he's seated so the wisdom is about being able to understand the process of transformation and how the mind plays a role in that and being able to relax into the understanding and knowing that if I need to use, you know, my mental capability and the ability to see both sides to move through something new, that I have that power and that I don't have to worry. I don't have to be, you know... And again, I don't have to be concerned with being alone because Gemini is the, the sign of the twin, and it really desires constant feedback. But, you know, kings, let's, let's think about those metaphors like, uh, you know, a you know, lion doesn't concern itself with the opinions of sheep, right? And that's a very kind of superiority way of looking at things. But a king is not concerned with what the peasants are concerned with because he understands the big picture. He knows what we're serving. So while Gemini wants to consistently be getting that feedback from a mirror, from an other, from a partner, you know, true mastery of your mind is the ability to be alone and to connect to new levels of understanding of yourself. And, and that's something that's going to be a challenge for you, Gemini's, is to just take a little extra space to go deeper. Because your, your version of deep, just know, just know, your mental capacity is so wide that your version of deep is not really deep it's just not like you're it's and this is not about like you have no awareness or you're not smart you are one of the smartest signs and you're intellectually like firing on all cylinders but those cylinders expand the width you know it takes focus time and attention to go deep and the energy of gemini is one of 
constant movement. And so that's what keeps it fluttering on the surface. But as you notice, yes, we're up on the mountaintop, but we're alone. There's no other light but mine. My head is down. I'm aligned, but the focus is there. And that is what is being asked of Gemini energy at this time. Learn to master your mind and be still to ex excavate even more 